Hello, welcome to Dungeon Thrills Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. So, I was re-watching uh, Hunter x Hunter 1999 uh, anime, which is the first adaption of the Hunter x Hunter, x Hunter manga, written by uh, Yoshihiro uh, Togashi, who, the creator of uh, the creator of Yu Yu Hakusho, right? And I, I was kind of, I'm, I'm currently playing Dragon Quest Eight, but like I was trying to, I was, you know, thinking of maybe playing a JRPG right, a, right after that, that kind of, you know, that f- had the spirit of Hunter X Hunter. So I went on the internet to look f- for RPGs, you know, for Hunter X Hunter fans, and I didn't find any lists like that. People already joked that Hunter x Hunter it, itself is a JRPG, right? Uh, yeah, and uh, I did see a list online of games for Hunter x Hunter fans. And boy, was that list, was that list, like, infuriating. Because, like, the first thing on the list, I, cr- I, cr- I shit you not, was, uh, was Fortnite. I, I'm not joking. Fucking Fortnite. <laughs> it was, like, insane, man. I have maybe one game here that I'm going to recommend that was maybe that was on the list. But, on that list. But that list was, re- like, was retarded, man. It was basically mo- mostly modern games and, like, a dead, a dead tablet game that's not even around anymore. <laughs> like, the Hunter x Hunter Greed Island to uh tablet game right which i even know was real i went to on my app store on my tablet it's not even on there <laughs> right so like this, i so basically i'm doing what nobody's doing as as far as i know is recommending jrpgs for hunter x hunter fans right because obviously you're you're if you're a hunter x hunter fan Chances are you're going to be a JRPG fan as well, especially since Hunter x Hunter was inspired by the Dragon Quest fan, uh, Dragon Quest games, which Yoshihiro Togashi is a huge fan of, and for some reason his hiatuses tend to correspond with new releases of Dragon Quest games. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. So yeah, I'm going to recommend some some JRPGs that I feel would be, would fit great for, like, you know, hunt, uh, for Hunter Hunter fans, right? And, uh, I, one day I'm going to make a video where I pitch my idea f- for a Hunter X Hunter game, right? Uh, for anybody who's, who would want to see that, I don't know. Like, Razor Fist does that all the time, so why can't I, right? So, like, Two, I feel like there are two series, right, that, like, that, like, have the Hunter, Hunter X feel, and that, is, the first one I'm going to recommend is Wild Arms, Wild Arm Games, right, <laughs> I almost knocked over, oh, shit, so, like, there's Wild Arms 2 here, Wild Arms After Code F, which is the um, remake of the first game, which comes with a uh, DVD of the uh, uh, epi- of an episode of the anime, right? <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, uh, I got Wild Arms 3 here, and there's Wild Arms 5. Wild Arms is like the only RPG I know where the games get... The later entries get more expensive <laughs> than, like, you know, the first games in the series. I, I think it's because, like, the first couple games were put out by, like, Sony, a major publisher. And then, like, you know, um, and then, like, you know, you had, like, smaller publishers like Age Tech and, like, XC put out some of the sequels. And that's why they got more expensive, right? <laughs> But yeah, like, um, why I would recommend Wild Arms as one of the franchises for the play for uh, Hunter x Hunter fans is because you have a mix of fantasy and 
modernity, right? Where, but, but like this takes place in the, these are like Wild West uh, themed RPGs, but like, you know, um, you have like some modern stuff in there. And like, obviously, if you read uh, Hunter x Hunter, you'd notice there's a lot of fantasy stuff mixed in with modern stuff, right? And like, uh, there, and, Wild Arms games, there's a lot of exploration and ruins and solving puzzles, right? Looking for treasure. There's a lot of characters that are treasure hunters slash bounty hunters, which, you know, uh, the, the, the certain hunters are, like, you know, specialized in, specialized in treasure hunting. Like, Jean here, Jean specializes... Which is the main character's dad specializes in like you know um, archaeology, which is like you know uh, discovering ancient ruins and like you know uh, looking for lost treasures, right? <laughs> which if you read if you read there's th this book there's like a there's like a character who wanted to trade like a special item that <laughs> that uh, Jing ha had. Let's see if I can find that. That was like that was during the. Yeah. By the way, this is volume 32. This is, if you've watched the 2011 anime Hunter, of Hunter x Hunter, this takes place um, right at the finale of that. So if you're an anime fan of Hunter x Hunter and you're looking for a jumping on point um, for the manga, 33 or 32 would be the, your best bet, right? That's why this is here. Uh, yeah, which I couldn't find my copy of 33, <laughs> which is a cursed number, <laughs> right? So, yeah, that's why I'm recommending Wild Arms, right? Other games I'm going to recommend are Baton Kato's Eternal Wings and The Lost Ocean, which is, this is not an expensive game. This is published by the people who put, off, put out the Xenogears, this is Monolith Soft. They put out, they made the Xeno Gears games, they made the Xeno Saga games, and they made the Xenoblade games, right? And uh, this game is like you also have a mix of fantasy and like, you know, uh, modern stuff. Like there's airships in this game, which obviously there's the air, airships in Hunter x Hunter. And uh, this game is a turn based RPG. That uses cards. You're, you battle with cards that have like equipment or spells and stuff. And it's very reminiscent of the Greed Island arc. Where you're like, you know, where our characters are in an MMO created by hunters. One of which was Jing. And they have to collect these cards. Which, you know, have like spells and stuff. Just like in this game, right? Uh, yeah, so that's why I, I would recommend this for Hunter, Hunter X... Uh, Hunter Hunter fans, right? Another game I would recommend for Hunter Hunter games is Final Fantasy 15, <laughs> which was the only game I agreed with on the that one list that you know I forget what website did it, but yeah, because this is a road trip game, and you obviously have a mix of. Uh, fantasy uh, and like modern times with you have the cars and the rest stops and stuff like that also our characters have side quests where they're where they have take on hunter jobs uh, killing monsters and finding dog tags of fallen hunters right so like you, you have some like hunter uh, hunter simulation stuff in here right and obviously you have the group of four friends which is very reminiscent to, like, you know, the beginning of the anime and manga, where you have Gon, Kilua, Kurt, uh, Kurtapika, and Leorio, right? Which I used to call him Leo Rio all the time before I started watching the anime. All right, so, yeah, I would recommend this game for Hunter x Hunter fans, right? And the last games I'm going to recommend for Hunter x Hunter games, which I think, I could be wrong, but I think these games were inspired by Hunter x Hunter, and that is Arc the Lad 2, which, this is the Arc the Lad collection, which collects all four Hunter, I mean, f the first four Arc the Lad games, and then you have Arc the Lad, End of Darkness, which is a dungeon crawler game, which is a sequel to Twilight Spirits, 
which I own, but I wouldn't really recommend that for Hunter Hunter fans. It's still a great game. It's probably one of the best games in the series, right? But in this game, you play Karg, who uh, becomes a hunter, which that's a thing in these uh, Ark the Lad games. If you you have hunters who take uh, who who go to um, hunter uh, hunter. Uh, uh, clubs to go to take on side quests, right? Different quests, and they're like hunter jobs, right? And like you know, there are different kinds of hunter jobs. There's looking for missing people, uh, hunting monsters, like stuff, bounty hunting stuff, like stuff like that, right? And finding items for people, I think was some of the quests. So that's why I this to me feels like hunter hunter, especially since. Uh, some of the characters look like gone, like Elk here, who is the protagonist of Ark the Lad 2, right? And yeah, I would totally uh, hunt uh, uh, Ark the Lad 2 in this game. It, I would totally, uh, I would totally recommend the Hunter Hunter fans, right? Because especially since you play a hunter in that game and you have different, uh, different, you know, jobs. And uh, quests you have to do, right? Oh, in this game, you, if you don't like Karg, you can play as different uh, characters in the Ark the Lad series. Like, there's Elk there, right? There's Ark, who's the protagonist of the first game. And you have the two protagonists of Twilight Spirits there. And she was in uh, Ark the Lad 1, right? And this is a very uh, decent length game. Right, I think it only took me like 12 hours. Also, in this game, you have the ca uh, cards that you collect that will, like, you know, that ha some have, like, magic spells on them. Some have, like, a different equipment, right? It it's very much like in, like, the Greed Island arc. And some cards have the spirits of, like, different characters from the Ark the Lad series that you can play on the, on the Hunter missions or Hunter quests. Right, you, though you can't play them, play as them in like the story mode, and like you know, this game had like online, so you could like team up with friends back in the day, which I didn't have. My uh, PS2 wasn't equipped with. Uh